Denso Oxygen Sensors – The Best Choice for Replacement Oxygen sensors have formed a critical component of engine management systems since the 1980s. As car manufacturers must comply with ever stricter emissions targets, the oxygen sensor measurements allow the engine control unit to perform an ever greater variety of tasks. In this animation, we will explore the sensor's two standard functions. The oxygen sensors are located in the exhaust system. They are designed to measure the oxygen content, which is directly related to the air-fuel mixture at the engine intake. The most efficient combustion is achieved when the air-fuel ratio is at 14.7 to 1 by weight, which is known as the stoichiometric ratio, or lambda 1. Consequently, oxygen sensors are usually called lambda sensors. Combustion of fuel creates pollutants that are harmful for both the environment and our health. The three most important pollutants that need to be minimized are carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons and oxides of nitrogen. These pollutants can be reduced using three-way catalytic converters that were introduced at the beginning of the 1980s. Catalytic converters use complex chemical reactions that convert the harmful emissions into less harmful substances. Because the catalytic reactions of each of these substances require different ideal circumstances, they never reach a 100% purification at the same time. Therefore, realistic targets are reached by compromising to an overall purification rate of 95% for these three pollutants. For this reason, it is most important that air-fuel ratio of the mixture going into the engine remains as close to lambda-1 as possible. Now, how does the oxygen sensor work and how does it influence the air-fuel ratio? When cutting away the outer stainless steel skin, we can see the inner components. The tip of the sensor is where the sensing takes place so it is sometimes referred to as the nose. Underneath the protective nose cover, we see the sensor element, which is made of zirconium dioxide ceramics. When the element reaches a temperature of typically 400 degrees centigrade or more, oxygen ions, which are electrically charged particles, are then able to diffuse through the element. This unique material property makes it possible to measure if there is a difference in oxygen concentrations on either side of the element. To ensure the sensor reaches the required temperature quickly, a separate ceramic heater is positioned inside the element. Within seconds, this heater can reach temperatures of over 600 degrees. The sensor's high-strength electrical wires that contain more than 35% stainless steel have a high temperature grade insulation and these wires are laser welded to the internal sensor electrodes for trouble-free long-life operation. At the rear of the sensor is a ventilation membrane. The membrane allows outside air to flow through to the internal side of the sensing element. The other side of the sensing element is exposed to the exhaust gas which has a very low oxygen content because most of the oxygen has been burnt during combustion. It was previously mentioned that oxygen ions can diffuse through the element, and they typically do so from higher to lower concentrations. Therefore, the oxygen ions diffuse through the element from the atmospheric side to the exhaust gas side. As a result, this flow of oxygen ions through the zirconium dioxide element produces a small voltage. When a rich mixture exists, the oxygen content in the exhaust gas is low, so there is a large difference in the oxygen content across the element. This produces a higher flow of oxygen ions, resulting in a high voltage signal of around 0.9 volts. But when a lean mixture exists, the exhaust gas contains more oxygen content so there is less difference in the oxygen content across the element. The flow of oxygen ions is therefore reduced, resulting in a low measurement signal of around 0.1 volts. The primary or regulating oxygen sensor is located upstream of the catalytic converter, 
which allows the oxygen content passing into the converter to be measured and then controlled. But to monitor the efficiency of the catalyst and its chemical reactions, a second or diagnostic lambda sensor is used. The diagnostic sensor is located downstream of the catalytic converter, and because 100% of the oxygen has been used for the catalytic reactions, the oxygen content is low and the signal voltage produced by the diagnostic sensor should always be high. So the regulating function of the pre-cat oxygen sensors and the diagnostic function of the post-cat sensors are the two standard functions that are common to all modern vehicles. But with additional exhaust gas after-treatment systems now being used, more advanced types of oxygen sensors are also required that then enable engine management control processes to also be even more advanced. To ensure a lifetime of accurate engine management system performance, all major vehicle manufacturers around the globe rely on Denso's expertise to develop and manufacture ceramic oxygen sensors. This original equipment legacy is directly translated into the highly efficient oxygen sensor range of Denso aftermarket products that are available for every automotive professional.